So here at Trinity Church, for those of you that may be guests with us today, before the sermon, we have what's called a worldview segment. And the reason we do a worldview segment is we believe, as a church, we exist as a spiritual crossroads, where moral, cultural, social, political issues collide with biblical truth. And we base this on a verse of scripture out of the Old Testament, 1 Chronicles 12, 32, where it says the sons of Issachar had wisdom regarding the times in which they lived, and they knew what they should do. Today, Christians need to be able to discern the times in which we live for two reasons. You need to be informed so you can know how to pray, so that number two, you can be empowered to act. The Apostle Peter said in Acts 2, 40, save yourselves from this wicked, twisted, and perverse generation. But not only are you to save yourselves, you're to save others. And as times get tougher, sermons can't keep getting weaker. So over the next several weeks, we're going to be talking about how we are encouraging you to vote against the lie. And this will be part one of a mini-series. In everyone's life, we all know this, there are pivotal moments where a decision can significantly change and alter the course of one's life. It can either launch you towards a future filled with greater opportunities and success, or it could steer you into a direction that leads to adverse situations and outcomes. This principle, it holds true, not only for an individual, but for a community, for a city, for a nation. In the Bible, these defining moments are called for such a time as this. And currently, our city is engaged in a crucial battle, whether you realize it or not, to safeguard our young people and children from those who seek to exploit the weak and the vulnerable. We are weeks away from a vote that could decriminalize recreational marijuana in our city, making Lubbock, Texas, the largest city in America to decriminalize pot. States have done it, but we would be the largest city. As of 2024, cannabis is legal for medical use in 38 of the 50 states. 24 states have legalized or decriminalized the recreational use of marijuana. Texas remains among the 26 states where recreational marijuana has not been legalized. Additionally, our state operates one of the most strict and limited medical marijuana programs in the country with approximately 69,000 residents registered, licensed uh, and reported by the Department of Public and Safety for the use of, for medical purposes. Texas legislators have consistently maintained a firm stance against the legalization of recreational marijuana and the reduction of penalties for possession, a possession that has been, a position that has been uh, broadly supported by local authorities. Yet our city, the large, would become the largest city in America to decriminalize rec the recreational use of marijuana, handcuffing our law enforcement officers. So you heard me right. There is a large group of citizens who want to make Lubbock, listen to me very carefully, there's a large group of citizens in our city that want to make Lubbock a sanctuary city for the drug cartels to operate in the distribution of marijuana. On May 4th, if enough people show up in support of Prop A and vote in favor of decriminalizing recreational marijuana, the bill will pass. But if enough people who are concerned for the quality of life for all Lubbock residents, especially youth and children, then the measure will fail. But it's up to you. Even God said in the Old Testament, I said before you this day, life and death, blessing and cursing, choose life. God can't make the choice for us, or in this case, God can't make the vote for us. Now, last year, 2023, a proposal to decriminalize marijuana was not passed, was not passed by the city council, a decision for which we extend our gratitude to Mayor Payne and the council members. Their decision reflects not only a commitment to common sense, but also adherence to state and federal laws prohibiting cannabis use. However, that decision played into the hands of those who want to decriminalize recreational marijuana in the Hub City. Lubbock Compact started the Freedom Act Lubbock. Adam Hernandez is the communication chair of Lubbock Compact. He is also running for mayor. Mr. Hernandez believes decriminalizing marijuana would be a step forward for our city of more than 260,000 people. What do you think? In a matter of weeks, a single decisive vote has the potential to transform our city from the hub city to the high plains hub city. It is critical that we cast our vote against Proposition A, 
We must stand together and vote against the lie. What is wanting to be decriminalized, Pastor, Mick, Pastor Eccles here, has a, a bag. This is what will become legal to carry on your person or in your car if this bill passes. I say we need to take a stand against it. If you stand with me on that, then after service, if you're not registered to vote, you can register to vote in the foyer. We have sign, yard signs that I'm asking you to take home, place in your yard. We need to stand for life. We need to stand for common sense. And we need to let young people know we're on their side. <laughs>